Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming bringing you episode number 16 of this trading technique series where I teach you guys trading techniques that you can use in FIFA Ultimate Team. And also, this one's working for the World Cup at the minute, so it's been making me quite a bit of coins. And you guys can see up on screen, we're going to get into it. So, it teaches you how you can trade international man of the match cards. Now, up on screen, we're going to focus on Kevin De Bruyne. As many of you guys know, I did a player review on him and I want to show you guys exactly you know what he's going for in the market now this was guys back I think four or five days ago from uh, when I did record it so I'm just gonna quickly find a card in the market and I think we found one over there 224,000 coins that's how much he was going for literally I think it was three days after I'd sold my card and done my review so you can see over there his price in the market did jump up now I'm also gonna show you the price I picked mine up for and the price I sold mine for and sort of talk you through exactly what happens to their cards. Now you can see over here, this is back from when I did my review and you can see that I picked them up for 157,000 coins. Now some of you will be like, whoa, you know, that's still quite a lot of coins. But with these international man of the match cards, they go through a phase where when they first come out, they're their most expensive and then sort of as it gets to the evening or more or less the second day, uh, their price drops to their low point. And then sort of their price goes back up again after that. So it's a little bit of a, a loopy chart, more or less, how to uh, explain that. But you've got to wait until you feel it's just right. And then you'll see their prices, you know, start going back up again. Now I'll show you quickly, guys, how much I sold mine for. And you can see over there, 190,000 coins. So that's almost close to 33,000 coins profit off one card before tax. So very easy coins and this is one of the ways I've been trying to sustain my coins especially throughout the World Cup and it's something you guys can do in probably larger quantities if you have more coins because I personally I didn't have that many coins so I try to avoid it but I'm gonna show you some other cards uh, especially like cards like David Luiz because he's a very unique card and I actually didn't realize this when I was recording the video but uh, you can see over there his Chelsea card went up in price when he did score the free kick against uh, I forgotten the team it was against I think it was against Colombia but uh, you can see over there we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you his price did go up from I think it was around 1.7 to 2.3 and his man of the match card is actually from uh, PSG now so they've transferred him over so that's gonna even keep his price up in the market so that's one of the things you gotta be careful of because that can mean that his price will probably stay in, up in the market for a period of time longer than it should so uh, I think we'll find another card over there but yeah at the time I didn't realize it was uh, PSG PSG and then I was like oh crap it's PSG but yeah more or less with this method you're going to be trying to pick up man of the match cards or any sort of man of the match cards you can look into even ones that are going for 15,000 coins and pick them up for 10,000 coins that's one way I did with Naboa and I believe it, it was uh, Brian Ruiz from Costa Rica I picked them up for both around 10,000 coins sold them on for around about three or four thousand coins profit so it is very simple now I do know a subscriber did ask for a international man of the match Zeka review so that will be out on uh, I think that'll be out very soon so do keep an eye on the videos and I'll probably most likely tweet it out so if you guys have any questions or any you know want any tips on trading tweet me it's at avjv gaming and also drop me a follow and that way i can get to talking to you guys a bit quicker than youtube at the best of times so we're looking for matt hummels as he also got an international man of the match card and uh over there you can see that he does have an 88 rated card look at that 92 defending 93 heading and he's going for around 335 thousand coins now after this during the video, guys, I think it was two days later, his price went down to 200 and, uh, 250,000 coins. So it did go down in price. So you have to be careful. There are fluctuations in the market that can make you lose coins and some that can make you win coins. So do keep an eye out for that and sort of predict it correctly. And if you guys are not too sure, you know, just tweet me or just, you know, observe for it a little bit as that's what I do at the prices. But there it is, guys, just proof of De Bruyne selling on and making a little bit more coins. And if I actually held him on for a longer period, I'd have probably made myself maybe 50,000 coins on one card. So it would have been quite nice stuff. But anyway, hopefully you guys will be able to implement this technique and hopefully it helps you also to make a lot of coins on the way. But yeah, this has been AVJV Gaming. If you have enjoyed the video, drop it a like, subscribe. And this has been AVJV Gaming and I'll catch you all for the next video.